Taurus Nation, welcome to my channel. And this is your reading, your mid month energy update. So it's pretty short for mid May. Let's see what's happening, guys. So this is a short transmission, it's not going to be more than 10 minutes. What's going on with your person? Your, per your person is a little confused right now. <laughs> That's what's going on with your person. <sighs> They're confused because they have made some sort of decision and this decision is geared towards I'm creating a more stable space for them their lives a, a more sp stable space in their lives previously they were juggling so many things and they were feeling burdened and then you know what they finally said you know what fuck it and they've dropped some things and they're really taking time to reflect on themselves their life um, their love and finances and everything just taking some time to really um, get that balance back this is what your person is working on right now. Getting that balance back. There was just too many things going on. Okay. The too many things could have been too many things going on in with the, in connection with you. Or it could be just the, their lives in general. And because they were burdened by that, they weren't able to put um, energy and effort into your connection. Okay. All right, so let's get into this reading. Now, listen. I'm going to ask about your person and hopefully your person's energy comes through. But sometimes because this is energetic, you may feel it may, when, we load, when we've laid out the cards, you may see that it might be more your energy that comes through. So it's good for cross watchers, but not so good for you. All right. And of course, when you're dealing with love, it's always good to um, also look at your moon sign, um, your rising uh, and your Venus. Okay. And then sometimes the signs just don't matter. It's the energy. You'll know if the energy is yours or your counterparts. It's the energy that the person is embodying. All right, so your person, Taurus. When they think about you, when they think about this connection, how are they processing it? Oh my God. And you saw how that flew up, right? This person knows that you are the one. They know you're the two of cups. They know this is a soul connection. They know, they recognize you. See how he's looking into her face? They recognize you. Lots of emotion, stormy, passionate. And I think it, this kind of emotion may have scared them initially, quite frankly, because they weren't in control. I'm picking up that this person that you're dealing with needs control. And maybe you too. Taurus, you know how you go. I'm a Taurus, I know. Control. I need that control. So, so they see you. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. And they see that you're loving, you're passionate, you're intuitive. And you get them. You get it. And you're not afraid to show an awful love. And that's something that they need in their life because they're, they're just the opposite. This person, I'm getting the feeling, is very restrained when it comes to love. They're very defensive. Maybe the heart has been broken. I do not listen. We have two of cups. We have the lovers. And look, look, doesn't she look like the high priestess in the traditional tarot? Look at look at what's on her head. You you Google the high priestess in traditional tarot. Maybe I need a little light here. My laptop is over there. Yeah, you Google the Pi Priestess in her traditional tarot and you look at what she's wearing on her head. So they know that this is an energetic match. It's definitely a soul connection. It might even be twin flame with the two of cups here and the lovers here. And then all that love there. <clears throat> and they see you as highly intuitive. That's that's coming off. A highly intuitive being. In their heart space. So in their head, there's a recognition. What's their heart saying? What's 
the hot seat, Taurus. The house is telling them to offer that love. We have the Prince of Cups now. They want to give this love. They want to bring this love to you. They want to come riding in with this love. They have something. Look at this, guys. Is it a is it a baby? What is he having there? So he's not coming. This person is not coming in empty-handed. They have something that they want to give that they have to bring. That's like a baby swaddle there. They're not coming in empty-handed. They have a gift. This person has a gift. Listen, water, lots of water on the board, and then of course we have Gemini there. Cancer represented strongly. They don't want you to leave them. I think they may have perceived um, before that you may have left this connection because maybe you guys aren't speaking. Maybe you guys aren't in communication. So they don't want you to leave. Good Lord, what's good? This person has lost his way. Yeah. So they're trying to get that spiritual strength to come towards you because they don't want you to leave. Look how he's restraining her. Don't leave me. And they want to be your protector. Alright, so if there's all this emotion going on, a head space, heart space, and then they're feeling this kind of intuitive pull, so there's a spiritual thing happening here as well. What's blocking this connection right now? This doesn't make sense. What's blocking this connection? There's been some sort of breakup. Either with you and this person, or this person was in something else and they're processing a breakup, or you were in something else and they're processing a breakup, but there's some kind of commitment that was broken and they need, or you need time to process. Pluto, this person is in the hands of Pluto right now. Scorpionic energy. Capricorn energy. This person is going through a transformation. And I think you know this. You're, you are watching this person go through this transformation. I really wish you could see... Look at this guy's face. There's a lot of deep reflection and contemplation. This is what is happening with your person. They're really reflecting on their life. And the decisions that they have made thus far. And they're recognizing that they need to change. They're recognizing the patterns in their life. They need to change. And they need to, you know, drop this ego. Get rid of this ego. That pride that they had. It needs to go. They're recognizing that. So what can we expect with this person's actions towards you by the end of the month? What can we expect? What will be this person's actions for you? What's this? Alright, they're still gonna be a bit confused. And maybe even exploring the options they could be acting out. Especially, you know, if there's been a breakup, they may not want anything serious right now. So they may be acting out, exploring other energies, really reflecting on their life. I'm getting really a bad a bombardment of thought right now. So we had fire signs, we had Leo, we had Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, water represented strongly. You got your fire signs here again, you got your Scorpio here, because it's all about transformation. I mean, Pluto is also um, Capricorn, um, fire signs here again, and then water signs here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else? They're going to be working on their self-love. Because this is what got them into all the shit that they were in in the first place. They're going to be working on their self-love. They didn't love self. That's why they were getting into um, all these toxic relationships. And then they're going to bring this offer towards you. And I think that's the gift that he had there. That, he's been, um, that person's been thinking of contemplating. But right now, what they really need to work on um, 
is their balance and we saw that card from the from the get-go this person is emotionally and mentally burnt out and i really think it has to do with some sort of breakup some sort of previous relationship or you know just there's a transformation that's happening here so they don't feel balanced enough to come towards you okay but they're definitely um there is something solid that they have to give but they're working on their self-confidence they're working on their self-esteem and filling their own cup because right now this person is burnt out i'll hit it to you straight they're burnt out they need to refill the cup if they want to be that person that you need them to be if you want them to be loving and caring and you know um just be um filled with energy for this this connection um you have to allow them to go through this process okay so lots of love here but this person needs to get their bearings okay all right guys so that was your message for today for your mid-month energy update um tune in for your june goodbye okay,